So we received your move out notice and this is a whole process that we're gonna go through. Expect to receive a copy of the move in video that we took when you move into the property. We understand there's gonna be normal wear in the property and we're not gonna be charging your security deposit over normal wear. Uh, and normal wear is defined as damage that occurs without your negligence. So if there's big holes in the walls, that's not normal wear. So we're gonna also put a lock box on the property so that you can put a key into it and just leave. There's no reason for you to be present during the move out walkthrough. Um, your presence is not gonna influence what gets charged to your deposit or not. And um, it's just to document the condition of the property. We'll compare the move in with the move out and uh, act accordingly. Carly? Now that we've received your move out notice, we will be sending you some information to review, um, like George said, as far as the condition of the home for your move out. There's things that we're gonna be checking and things that we want to make sure are in order for your vacancy. Closer to the end of your vacancy again, like George mentioned, we're going to be putting a lockbox at the property. We will give you the code and when you are all moved out and the property is up to condition that you would like to move out with, you will place a key in the lockbox. You will place all other remotes and keys inside of the property in a kitchen drawer. Please be sure to leave all remotes and keys, mailbox keys, any community passes, um, inside of the house. We will need to collect everything that was given to you at the time of your lease signing. Otherwise, it will be charged to your security deposit if we do not receive all of it back. Yeah, one other thing. Don't, don't touch up the paint in the property and don't stress out about leaving the property. We understand that you've lived there for one or two or three or multiple years. And if you touch up the property and you don't do it correctly, I may have to paint a whole wall and I would have to charge you for that because you made a touch up and it didn't, didn't match. So we're not going to charge you for touching up the paint on the property. We're going to charge you for stuff that you actually damaged. We expected you to hang a picture. There's a hole in the wall. It's cheaper for us to fix it than it is for you to fix it. Because if you don't fix it to our satisfaction, we're going to fix it again and then we're going to charge you. If you have any questions about your move out or the process of a move out procedure, please give us a call. Um, and ask us ahead of time before anything is done. Right. It's important for you to leave the utilities on until you do move out. Or let us know what day you need to shut those off so that we can have the utilities on when we do the walk through the property. If the landscape dies because you shut the water off two weeks before you moved out, you're going to be responsible for us planting new, new uh, flowers or bushes or grass. Uh, so utilities are required to be on up until you give us possession. We cannot conduct our move-out walkthrough without the utilities on. Uh, the utilities allow us to perform a full move-out walkthrough inspection. Okay. Got any questions, you've been told to call us. Hopefully you will.